Hello everyone. Welcome to the overview tutorial of update 2.4 of the Alzheimer's Life Chef system. One important notice, update 2.4 will break your previous version. This is because of the new folder structure. Every file has a different hierarchy now. And if you have a previous version, files will get mixed up and the system will break. However, in your scene, you can leave every generator as is. Just replace the folder and everything should work fine. However, because of the new settings and bug fixes, you will have to tweak every current generator so that their intensity and falloff, etc. matches again with the way you have intended. So up to the new feature, that is the save and load system. Users can now very easily load and save their settings, share the settings between them. And if they have any problems with the setup, the developer, me, can send you a simple setting file and you're good to go. This will also speed up support and setup of future generators. Every single save file will be saved in the preset folder. The system does not take into account subfolders. So every single save file has to be placed directly inside the presets folder as shown here. There are a few presets already provided so that we can have a quick overview how the system works. Right now we have a standard setup. Since I only have one generator in the scene, mobile support is on so that every single shaft uses uh, a more optimized material. The save system itself saves a file with the name you give it inside the string and loads the file with this name. So if you want to load the squarecast with a sunset setup, we copy the name of the preset, paste it in here and click load. And there we go. As you can see, the complete system is set up with the settings contained in this preset. If we want to tweak this, let's put mobile shared material on so that it responds a little bit quicker inside our scene. Okay, obviously this does not look good, but this is just for showcasing. So let's call this Sunset 2 for now. Save it away. And as you can see here, Sunset 2 is now in my preset list. You can send this file through email. It's a simple dot dot data file. Let's delete it for now. And load back in the standard sunny day. And load. There we go. As you can see, it works very quickly and it makes it possible to save your current generator for later use. For instance, if you have a room or you have multiple rooms with each its own generator, you can easily share settings between each generator now by saving and loading them in. The system now uses a new shader based upon the particle additive shader of Unity 5. This gives us a new uh, variable to play with and that's the soft shaft factor. It does exactly the same as the soft particle factor in the way that it makes the collision against objects smoother. So we already have the follow for that, but on some occasions when objects are closer than the rest of the shafts, the shafts would get cut off. The soft shaft factor now prevents that. And that's about it, what you have to know about the new save system and the warnings that go with updating to the new version. So make sure that the old folder is deleted before you import 2.4 version. Bye.